Hi everyone, welcome back. As you guys know, I have undertaken a massive project plan for 2023. And part of my project plan is that I have 80, about 80 eyeshadow palettes that I need to use at least two times this year. I have been taking along my journey through my shorts, my community tab, and also my long form videos as well. So out of my 80 palettes, I thought they were like 78, 79, but I'm, now I'm thinking I have 80 palettes. I just can't keep count of my makeup. But out of the 80 palettes, so far I have used 20 palettes at least two times. So I still have about 60 to go for the remainder of the year. So I started with my Natasha Denona palettes. I have seven of them and I used them at least two times. Then I moved on to my large Huda palettes. I have five Huda palettes which I have also used at least two times. And then I moved on to all of my spring color story palettes and I have a total of six additional. Now I have started using my small Huda Beauty palettes and so far I have used two. So, so that makes a total of 20 palettes that I have used so far. So every time I finish using a bunch of palettes, I like to do ranking videos. I will link my Natasha Denona ranking video up above. And today we're going to rank my five large Huda Beauty palettes. So let's get started. At the bottom of my ranking is this palette. This is the new nude eyeshadow palette. Beautiful packaging. I love the cover and then there is another slip inside where that can protect your mirror from getting messy. The color story is really nice. I love the color story. I think it's really good. I mean, you need to get off the chair, please. The chair is making too much noise. Good. I mean, yeah. This is a really wearable color story, but also really beautiful. You have some really nice berry purpley colors here, and then you have some browns and a little bit of peach. So it's a pretty versatile story for an everyday look. But the issue that I had with this palette is some of these shades are not the best formula. They are a bit powdery. This is not the Huda formula that you will experience if you were to buy her newer palettes. And these shimmer shades here are also really crumply and messy. I don't know what's happening, but you could also see like little bumps in here. I'm not sure if I used a wet brush and if that's what caused it and I'm not sure if I should be concerned about it. If you guys know why my eyeshadow is bumpy, please leave me a comment down below. But this palette is better than the Desert Dusk palette when it comes to quality. I do think the mattes are a little bit better than the Desert Dusk one. And actually Huda has discontinued Desert Dusk and you cannot purchase that palette from her website anymore. But again, even the Desert Dusk one, the color story was really, really pretty. And it does make you think of like a sunset. So it has that sort of a Desert Dusk vibe for sure. I do have to say that overall, I have enjoyed all five Huda Beauty's large eyeshadow palettes, although some are better quality than others, but I do still enjoy them. And I think that's because she does a really good job with her color stories. Up next, is the Mercury Retrograde palette. This packaging has to be the best, the prettiest packaging that I have seen for an eyeshadow palette. And this is one of my spring eyeshadow palettes. So this would be my seventh spring eyeshadow palette. Really pretty color story. I mean, these are just really beautiful, vibrant, cute colors for spring. And the formula was pretty decent too. This mercury shade was a bit of a problem. It was pretty messy and crumbly. But other than that shade, I think the rest of the shades were pretty nice. And you can create really beautiful eye looks with this. I created a blue one, a purple one, and they just come out perfect for spring. And you can actually create a lot of different looks with it as well. It is a pretty versatile palette. You can do blue, purple, coral, and you can also do some neutrals. Pink shade thrown in here as well, right here. The only reason why this palette is ranked at the bottom is because of the quality. I feel like Huda's eyeshadow quality has improved significantly from when she started to now. 
So naturally, her newer palettes are at the top of my ranking. Next palette, I absolutely love this palette. This is the Naughty palette. And I don't know what is up with this palette, but every time I do a look from here, it comes out so sultry and beautiful. So this is definitely more of an evening type of palette. Although there are still mattes in here, so you could do a daytime look. But I like using this for special occasions. And I had no issues with the formula. The mattes were good, the shimmers were good as well. All right, second to last palette. This was definitely a hard choice and I always have this problem even with my Natasha Denona ranking. The second and the first one are very close together and it was hard for me to pick one, but I did make up my mind and my second to the top is this palette, Rose Quartz. Really interesting theme, I like this theme. And I really like this palette because I feel like this is a really good year-round basic palette. This is not a fall palette or a spring palette or a special occasion palette. You could use this palette all year long for any kind of occasion. And there are also some shades in here that I could use to replicate some of the looks from the Naughty palette. That's how versatile this palette is. I have used this Serenity shade a lot and this shade right over here. I mean, this brownish shade, this chocolatey brown shade is pretty easy to use on an everyday basis. So I've used that. And then if I wanna be a little bit unique, a little bit different, then I use this shade. And then you can also see I've used the shimmer shades quite a lot as well. All right, I think if you have been paying attention to what I have been saying, you know which palette is my number one Huda palette. Three, two, one. This is the Empowered palette. And I have to say, Huda does a really good job with the packaging of her palettes. And she usually uses her eyes, but I mean, that makes sense, right? It's an eyeshadow palette. I do love a nice packaging. You know, with Natasha Denona, I feel like most of her palettes, the packaging is kind of boring. I mean, I love the formula, but the packaging does disappoint me a bit. I did like the packaging of the My Dream palette, and that's pretty much it, because she did something different with that one. Buddha does a great job with the packaging of her palettes. And this is what it looks like on the inside. I would say the formula in this palette is the best to date. The shades are really creamy, soft, buttery, and it's an interesting palette. You know, there are these two gel shades in here, which I mean, I don't really use, but Huda makes it interesting by throwing these odd things in there. And this is a really nice shade over here. This is more like a cream shade. So if you wanna do a little bit of a glossy, creamy look, you can throw this all over your lid and uh, that will come out looking really nice. The golden shades, however, are a bit repetitive. I did not see too much of a difference between this shade and this shade over here. Again, a pretty wearable everyday type of palette. By everyday, I mean it could be either a daytime or a nighttime look. You have some really nice, beautiful brown and coral shades, more warmer tones on this side. And then you have a couple of cooler tone shades on this side as well. So a pretty versatile palette. And this courageous shade here reminds me of the Naughty palette. So I really appreciate having this shade in this palette. All in all, the large Huda palettes are consistently a good color story and really everyday wearable without being repetitive. I know a lot of people complain how Too Faced palettes are just like very repetitive, the same sort of chocolatey brown shades over and over again, but Huda does change it up but still keeps it in a way that you could use the eyeshadows on an everyday basis. It's too noisy, Google. And she does a great job with packaging, so I definitely will be snagging the next one that she releases. Can you do something else? 
Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Careful. Good view.